Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Research Nomics, a video lecture series on the subject Research Methods in Public Administration. This is Ronald Alan Pakana, your research instructor. Today, we will be discussing identifying research problem and title. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we go through our research journey. For our topic outline, we will begin with identifying a research problem. And then, this is followed by the tips in selecting a research problem. Factors that influence the selection of a research problem the do's and don'ts in writing an eye-catching research title, examples of research titles in public administration, and your main task number one, identifying a research problem and title. Okay, so we will begin with the question, what is a research problem? So, dilin ni siya kuan ha? Anang problema sa ba nagasawa ha? Okay, bitaw. So in public administration, research problems can be in the form of public funds utilization, poverty, gaps in the implementation of a policy, delivery of public services, among others. These problems and issues need to be studied carefully in order to make appropriate solutions and interventions. Here are the tips in selecting a research problem. So you have to choose a topic that you are interested in. Important tigid kayo nga interesado ka. And then narrow your topic to something manageable. Ask your instructor for suggestions. Talk about research ideas with a friend or family members. Hindi lang kay bang libak. Think of the WH questions. Uh, for example, why did you choose the topic? Who is affected by the topic? Where is your topic important? Sa local, national, or international level ba? When is or was your topic important? Is it a current event? So you have to ponder on these questions. Factors that influence the selection of a research problem. Delete niya factors sa pagpili sa tagan sa yuda ha kaila hit siya. Bitaw. So here are the following. So the availability of data. Importante ka ayon eh. Time constraint. Funds, the capability of the researcher, attitudes and interest of the researcher, interest of the sponsor or the beneficiary, importance of the issues involved, recency of such issues, cooperation of others, and facilities and equipment. The do's and don'ts in writing an eye-catching research title. So for the do's, Keep the title brief and clear. Use active verbs in the title. Keep the title length to 10 to 12 words. Use keywords in the title. Use the term one of the barangays instead of stating the name of the barangay or LGU for ethical considerations. For the don'ts, do not write lengthy titles. Do not add unnecessary details to the title. Do not use abbreviations in the title. And do not use complex phrases in the title. So in short, ayaw buhata ang bawal kay diha ang mga disgrasya. Here are some of the research titles in public administration. Perceived level of implementation of health and safety protocols of COVID-19 among residents in a selected barangay in Misamis Oriental. The level of residents' compliance to the modified health and safety protocols of COVID-19. The residents' knowledge and attitudes towards COVID-19 vaccines. Water system in one of the barangays in Misamis Oriental, basis for recommendation. An assessment of the household level compliance on proper waste segregation implementation of three Rs. And the perceived advantages and disadvantages of e-governance in one of the barangays in Misamis Oriental. Guide lang ni siya ha, ayaw awata. Please choose a title that interests you the most. Okay, so for your main task, number one, you have to identify your research problem and title. So identify two research problems that you want to pursue. And then you have to answer the questions provided. 
Out of the two research problems, you have to select one as your research topic. And then you have to formulate a research title for the said research topic. The template is posted in our Google Classroom. Okay, so for this main task, you are to submit your output on or before August 31, 2021. That's it for this episode. Should you have any questions, you can contact me through the following outlets. This has been Ronald Alan Pakana, and this is Research Nomics.